Good day all, welcome to Crypto News Update by Difa TV. I am Ereti Uluwa Ogumbawale. The headlines. Binance Blockchain Week holds in Dubai from March 28th to 30th, 2022. Russia hacked Ukrainian satellite communications, officials believe. Apple Pay closes loophole that allowed Russian users to pay with MIR cards. Bitcoin and Ethereum spike up 5% amid crypto market Sunday surge. The news and details after the short break. Welcome back. The news in full. Binance Blockchain Week holds in Dubai from March 28 to 30, 2022. Binance Blockchain Week brings crypto's biggest names and most daring innovators to Dubai for three days of engaging discussion on the future of blockchain today, with the experts sharing their insights across live panels, fireside charts, a hackathon, and more. Binance Blockchain Week is this year's opportunity to find your place in one of the century's biggest technological developments, from the metaverse through to GameFi, DeFi, and NFTs. Binance Blockchain Week will see over 2,500 attendees in person and thousands more live streaming via Binance Live for a deep dive into the technology of the future through the world of NFTs, the metaverse, and beyond. Binance Blockchain Week is an opportunity to learn more about the key innovation themes of tomorrow and take stock of the current state of affairs. Russia hacked Ukrainian satellite communications, officials believe. Russia is believed to have hacked U.S. satellite communications provider ASAT on the day of its invasion of Ukraine. Western intelligence agencies have been investigating the incident and while they have not yet made a public accusation, they believe Russia was behind it. It appears to be the most significant cyber attack linked to the conflict so far, affecting military as well as government communications. Overall though, Western officials say Ukraine has proved more resilient to cyber attacks than many had expected. Western intelligence agencies are investigating the hacking of Viasat, which provides communications through a network of satellites. It appears to have been hit by a sophisticated cyber attack that wipes devices on the day the invasion began. It also affected other countries in Europe, although not the UK. Apple Pay closes loophole that allowed Russian users to pay with MIR cards. Apple Pay will no longer support Russian card payment system MIR, closing the loophole that let Russians continue to use the service amid economic sanctions put on the country, according to a report from Reuters. Apple has informed NSPK, Russia's national payment card system, that it is suspending support of MIR cards in the payment service Apple Pay, a translated announcement on MIR site reads. Since March 24, uploading new MIR cards to the service has been unavailable. The company also notes any MIR cards previously added to Apple Pay will stop working over the next few days. Bitcoin and Ethereum spike up 5% amid crypto markets on the surge. After a stable first quarter, the entire cryptocurrency market appears to be picking back up for the moment. The price of Bitcoin and Ethereum spiked on Sunday and pushed through recent price resistance as the entire crypto market pumps higher. Bitcoin is up more than 5% in 24 hours to so $47,020 at the time of writing, and Ethereum is up 5% to $3,292 according to CoinMarketCap. Bitcoin is now up 14% in the past week, Ethereum up 15%. Amidst ongoing crisis, Ukraine launches NFT Museum War. Ukraine continues to leverage blockchain technology to support its course in the conflict with Russia. Today, the Ukrainian government has launched an NFT war museum to raise more funds for its war efforts. Mikhailo Fedorov, Ukraine's Minister for Digital Transformation, has asserted that the initiative is intended to keep the memory of the war and celebrate Ukrainian identity. The project, named Meta History, is essentially a blockchain-based chronicle of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The collection will feature digital art pieces created by Ukrainian artists since the war began. Each art piece will also carry stories from trusted news sources. Uber granted 13 month license to continue operating in London. Uber has secured a 13 month or two and a half year license to keep its ride sharing services up and running in London. Uber released a statement on Twitter saying, We are delighted to announce that Transport for London has granted Uber a new 13 month license in London. TFL rightly holds our industry to the highest regulatory and safety standards, and we are pleased to have made a high bar. And that's all for now. Do not forget to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And also, please do follow us on all our social media platforms. So, like, come away next time. I am Iriti Oluwa Ogumbowale.